Welcome to my quick and sloppy faux brick tutorial. I'm happy with the results and I hope if you try it you will be too. First, you need to gather some basic equipment. Painter's tape, a template about the size of the bricks you want, and a level. Here are the paint colors I used. The white, dark gray, and main brick color came as is and I used them to mix the other colors. I started by painting my surface gray, which is what I chose for the mortar color. Then I used the template and level to make guidelines. Then I ripped tape sections to length and tediously ripped each one in half. To apply the tape, I overlapped each half with the ripped sides out because you want the edges of the brick to look a little rough. But if some edges are straight side out, don't worry. In fact, don't worry about anything. These bricks are very forgiving. The mortar ended up being about a half an inch wide. Here's what it looks like when all the masking tape bits are up. And a close up. And here's how it looked when I was in the middle of it. In the next clip, you'll notice that I reused the tapes from another finished piece of the wall. I saved lots of time that way and lots of tape. Remember, trust the level not your eyes. After all the masking tape is up, it's time to paint in the bricks. I just used a brush. First I painted a few random lighter and darker colored bricks, then the rest in the main color. I also dabbed most of the bricks with a green kitchen scrubby to give texture, but I didn't show that here. So after that dried, I carefully pulled off the tape. Still, bits of paint stayed attached and I was left with ready-made white highlights. I would have painted these in anyway if the tape hadn't done it for me. And here you can see the arrows are pointing to the highlights on the finished wall. Also notice that I took a kitchen sponge and I smeared various colors on random bricks. And here are some more of the highlights. And then next are the shadows that I painted in on the bottom and right side of every single brick. And the arrows are pointing to those. In general, I painted a thin dark line close to the brick and then randomly smeared a little bit out onto the mortar. And after every brick was done, I went back with the mortar color and touched up, removing unwanted smears and pencil lines. And here again is the final product. Once a badly painted bit of heating duct, now a brick wall. <laughs> 